this video, I'm going to be showing you how to analyze Boom 500 from the higher time frame up until the lowest time frame. So looking at the overall market structure, as you can see, we are pushing to the downside. We are creating lower lows and lower highs. So as you can see from this current market structure around this area here, we have an overall descending channel just like this. And then from that descending channel, you can also take uh, buy opportunities and sell opportunities. And then what I'm trying to imply is that this is the area. Let me just draw out like the structure and then explain afterwards. So this is the area. And then when you're at the top of the structure, just like this, this area here, you look for selling opportunities. And then below the structure, you look for buying opportunities. Simple as that. So now we are at the bottom of the structure of which we created a descending channel, whereby it's a reversal pattern to the upside or to create like some buy opportunities. So as you can see, this is the descending channel that I'm talking about. So initially for us to get like those buying opportunities, we just have to wait up until we get something confirmed or the structure confirmed. So as you can see here, let me just take it to a line chart. So on the line chart, what you can see is that we have this as our value area. This also as our high point of value whereby the market will react very nicely. And then we have this area here. So going back to the candlesticks, what I was expecting for me to take like those buying opportunities was a clear break of structure, come back, retest, and then we look for those buying opportunities just like this. And then mind you, when you take like a buying opportunity like uh, on the retest, you must get like a clear confirmation or a confirmed candlestick pattern whereby you get like an evening star or an engulfing candlestick pattern. So in this case, we haven't done that. So we have an ascending channel just around this point here. As you can see, we are creating an ascending channel. So this ascending channel can give us two options whereby we initially get like selling opportunities from this point up until this point. Then we can look for buying opportunities from here or we can break structure, come back and retest. Then that is when we look for those buying opportunities from there. So those are my scenarios that I'm looking at. So let's look at the four hour time frame and then try to analyze those two scenarios that we have. So looking at the structures, so looking at the overall structure on the four hour time frame, we have a clear push to the upside, as you can see, as I said, then initially what we can look forward to seeing is for the market to break structure and then come back to retest this area here. If you put it back to a line chart, you'll see that this is a value area. So what we can expect is a clear push to the downside, come back and retest. Then that is when we can look for those selling opportunities from there. Let me just do this. And then this is the scenario that I'm looking at. This is the first scenario that I'll be looking at. But after we break structure, if we haven't broken structure, then I'll wait up until we break structure. And then looking at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, what I'm currently seeing on the hour time frame is that we created an ascending channel or a trend to the upside. And then what I'll do is that I'll remove a few of these just because that was the first option that I was looking at. And then let me just remove these. Then on the hour time frame, what I'm seeing is that we are pushing to the upside. We created this descending channel, but then an ascending channel. And then we can come back and retest this area here of which we retested the area. And then we have another value area of which is this one here of which the market has been reacting currently. And then we have another descending channel of which is in this area here. So initially what we can do is that we can take buying opportunities after we break structures around this point here, just like this. And then we retest and then we look for those buys just like this. Then the stop loss can be just below and you can target this as your first target. And then this is your overall target. So that is it for this uh, 500 analysis. And then I'll see you on another one. Drop a comment.
drop a like then i'll see you easy